You will find several new design features in Chief Architect X15 to help improve your productivity. Let's begin with the Pattern Design Tool. Patterns, like those you see in vector views, can be selected from the drop-down of available patterns, the library, or by creating the pattern from the image texture. Now, in addition to those methods, you can draw your own pattern files. From the CAD menu is the Pattern tool. When you create a new pattern, you can set the width, height, and horizontal and vertical offsets. In the new Pattern CAD window is where you create the pattern using the CAD tools. A preview can be turned on, so you will see how the pattern repeats. This preview can be toggled on and off. There are additional tools you can use to add pattern layers and infinite lines. Images can be imported into the Pattern Editing window for the purposes of tracing over the image. These custom patterns are saved in your user library and can now be selected as the material's new pattern. Finally, any CAD that you have drawn can be selected and converted to a pattern with the new Create Pattern tool. If you need a custom pattern, the new Pattern tool will allow you to create unique styles. Cabinet end panels and pilasters can be displayed in floor plan views. In the cabinet defaults, enable the display of panels and pilasters, and then be sure that layer is turned on to show the added detail. Previously, pilasters were omitted when between two similar sized cabinets. Now there is an additional pilaster control for both the right and left cabinet sides. Cabinet moldings can be converted to molding polylines for further customization, similar to generating custom countertops. You can choose which molding to convert. Once it is converted to a molding polyline, it can be edited to fit your design criteria. For cabinet door hardware, you will find controls to position the hardware both vertically and horizontally. With cabinet partitions, you can add toe kicks and specify the height and width. Electrical items like switches and outlets will snap and attach to the partitions. Offsets are available for railings on stairs and walls to control where the posts, newels, and the railings are located. Let's begin with the railing wall for this deck. On the railing style panel, there is a horizontal offset. I'll enter a negative value to position the post on the outside of the deck ledger. In the preview, you'll see the entire railing shift. Newel posts have horizontal and vertical offsets. To lower the post, I'll enter a negative 8 inches and increase the post size by the same amount. Like the newel posts, rails also include horizontal and vertical offsets to help you position the rails precisely. Once we return back to the 3D view, you can see how the railing is now on the outside of the deck ledger. Stairs and ramps have the same type of controls to offset the railings. To position the balusters on the outside of a stringer, I'll offset the railing the thickness of the balusters, remove the bottom rail, and then lower the balusters 6 inches. Back in the 3D view, all I need to do is move the stairs over so the two railings align. For curved stairs, there are new radius controls. When adjusting the stairs radius, you can use the outer arc, the center line, the walk line, or the inner arc to size the curve. With cabinets and architectural blocks, you can suppress the automatic room moldings. Now you can do the same with fixtures and furniture. Use the Suppress Room Molding setting in the Objects Specification dialog to control its room molding behavior. There are several great new features in Chief Architect X15, and you can expect to see it this spring. And remember, all new software purchases include support and software assurance. So, if you're not currently a customer, get started today with Chief Architect. <laughs>